Fember and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. I appreciate your face. Anyway, so today for you guys, I have my first ever um, restaurant build that uh, that I just made like <laughs> a couple hours ago. Yay me. Yeah, sorry. I'm not really someone who is able to like, like I try to have builds ready when it comes to my data upload and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to build this and I'm going to build that and then I end up not building, I end up doing something else. Also, FYI, if you guys hear any kind of noises or squeaking or anything, it's because all my animals are in the office right now. And when I say all of them, all of them. <laughs> Dakota, my dog, she's on my foot currently sleeping. And my two kittens, Mouse and Addie, are both in my lap. When I first started to do my voiceover, they were sitting on the table staring at me and then they saw me talking and now they're in my lap. So excuse the purring or squeaking or any kind of noises they decide to make while I'm doing this. Anyways, so yeah, so I've never really had, or I'm not, I'm not someone who really builds, uh, what would you call it, community lots all that often on my, um, what do you call it, on the gallery I do have a couple of lots, like I think I have an arcade that I made when a uh, get together came out and uh, I think I have one restaurant that I made once, it was like a burger joint or something that I made, uh, whew, I guess a couple of years ago now, because it's been that long, um, so yeah, so that's, uh, I don't really do these kind of builds that often, and it's just because, I guess, I feel more comfortable doing house builds, but I felt like I really needed to do a restaurant build, and that's just because I find it kind of weird, and it might just be me, though, I find it kind of weird, like, when I've been playing in Sulani since it came out, just, you know, my personal play, or save file anyway, and uh, I felt it was kind of odd when they would be like, hey, let's go out to eat, and then they showed up like at Brittleton Bay, or, you know, they went over there to uh, Newcrest, where I have a couple of restaurants I've downloaded and stuff like that, and I just felt like it was sort of out of place, and I didn't really care for it, so I was like, oh, you know what, I was like, I need a restaurant on this, you know, in this world, so like when I get invited by my neighbors who are always bringing us food all the time, so I guess we don't have to go out to eat, but in case we want to, there's a restaurant, so here we are. So anyways, <clears throat> excuse me, so yeah, so uh, I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this build. Uh, it's, I was going to look on Pinterest for some ideas, but I decided to just wing it, and I feel like because I did, I went that route. I feel that this video, or this video, Lord, this build came out pretty good. I like the way, you know, in the end result came, and I also play tested this, you guys, so I made sure, and I gave the hostess, or hosts, um, the cooks, well, the cooks are just in their generic uh, uniform, but the hosts and hostesses and the wait waiters and waitresses, they all have um, custom uniforms, which are, that came, they're just outfits from Island Living. I just tried to keep the theme of the island on there, you know, just to make it easier. I also customized the menu. I tried to keep it either island living or base game. If I happen to have a food there that you guys don't have when you download this lot, then, you know, be sure to just go on ahead and replace it with something to your liking. I even tried to have vegetarian something because that is something I do forget. <laughs> um a lot, especially when I play vegetarian sims in general, I always forget that they don't eat meat and then I'm not paying attention and then I feed them and they're crying and throwing up and it's just a huge mess. So I'm just like, uh, so I try to do better with that. Anyway, so back to this bill since I haven't talked about it at all. Um, right now we are doing like a little, basically a seating area, like generically most places when you go to a restaurant, they do have a seating area to wait because you normally depending how busy you are, don't really just show up and start sitting at a table. I mean, some places you do, but there's a few places I've been to, you know, and I'm sure all of y'all have too in real life where, you know, you go in there, you sign your name, and then you have to sit and wait, like, forever, trying not to die because you're starving to death, you know, until you get a table. So, yeah, so I went ahead and made a little seating area. At first, I thought that I made the build too large because I am building on... I believe it's a 40 by 30 lot. It was one of the beaches I ended up using. I was going to use one of the places I guess you could use for house building, but I was like, eh, no, I didn't really want to do that. I guess that's the only problem I was having when it came to this build is because, like, I want to have a restaurant, and I wanted to have, like, some other kind of residential, or not residential, hello, community lots, but, 
you know, obviously you would have to replace one of the residential lots to do it because there's not a lot of lots in this world. I know they said there's like, what, 14? I think I haven't actually counted them. But to me, I still feel like that's not enough. <laughs> I mean, um, it's, it's, it's just my personal thought, I guess. You know, uh, as a builder, for me anyway, I feel like I need a world with like, I don't know, 20 or 30 lots. And even then, I'll probably find a reason or a way to fuss about it. So, you know, <laughs> just ignore me. Anyway, so yeah, and the roofing for this time around, thank God, didn't take me like an hour. Because <laughs> I'm really bad at roofing, you guys. Like, I usually try to edit it out the best I can, but at the same time, I'm just like, you know what? Like, everybody struggles. Everybody has their moment where they could do this and that really well. And one of my things that I do that are not very well, obviously, is my roofing. This time around, now it came out good. Addie, stop chewing on my laptop, please. Okay, sorry. Distraction. Kittens, I tell you guys, kittens, they, I can't leave them alone, not for a second. They just have to be in everything. Anyway, so back to the build. So I was trying to figure out what color I wanted to do the outside. I did like the dark, um, what do you call it, the dark brown. I was going to just slap on uh, just like a wallpaper or a siding that came with Island Living, but I felt like I just kept using Island Living things and didn't really use any of the Dine Out stuff, so that's why I changed the outside to like the white paneling from Dine Out. I thought that it came out really well. I think it looks really nice and clean. And as for the inside, I did choose the furniture to be mostly uh, Island Living. I tried to make sure to put enough tables. Like I made sure to put some of like tables for like two people because I am someone who plays you know sims for a while where it's just two of us <laughs> um i am someone who does like to start with just one single sim and then have them find a partner and then they start having kids and stuff like that it's just my play style i know that's not everybody some of them you know they have an actual family family so i did make sure to put a few tables that would fit at least six sims um on there and like I said, I did play test this. So I did, I'm going to have some screenshots at the end of this when I was play testing it. And everything seemed to work out fine. The waiters or waitresses weren't getting stuck on anything. They didn't trip on anything. So, you know, they weren't just throwing my Sims food all over the floor. Because I've actually downloaded restaurants where that was a thing. I've also downloaded restaurants that just weren't functioning at all. I guess like the builder themselves forgot to add either like stairs or they used the move objects and they didn't let us know that they needed to use move objects to place the lot so like stuff ended up in other places and obviously sims couldn't go around and walk around properly like there are routing issues and it's just a huge mess so I wanted to make sure before you know I uploaded this lot for you guys that you know it would work properly and everything would be okay so as far as I could tell, it seems like there's plenty enough room for Sims to come in and out. There's more than enough room for Sims, you know, to have a seat, to order their food and stuff like that. So it seems to be working out well. I did kind of get a little worried that I only put one chef station as big as this restaurant is. But <clears throat> when I sent my Sims in to go eat, they didn't really wait that long for the food to come out. So I'm hoping... That it's going to be okay i'll probably have to play it a few more times but i feel like now it is good enough that you guys should you know be able to enjoy this build if you decide to use it in any of your game saves anyhow so yeah so now it's just kind of last minute you know decorating here and there i put seating outside and inside just because you know who doesn't want to sit by the ocean while they're eating their food at first i wasn't going to have a cover over the deck because i wanted them to just nice Addy. I wanted them to just have you know um, be able to be out in the fresh air and the sunshine and blah 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 but realistically first off people don't like to eat with sun right in their face because that sucks second off I did read it hasn't happened to me yet because I guess I haven't played that often but I have seen that they do get a lot of thunderstorms around here and obviously if you go to a restaurant to eat nobody's gonna want to sit out in the rain so you know hello bad for business I made sure to put a cover on there so as of now I'm just doing a little bit of landscaping nothing too hardcore I just wanted to have something you know nice ish I suppose in the front you know so I went ahead and just threw some plants some grass some bushes here and I put some rocks around it it's still open enough that you know if you're similar 
wanted to go, I don't know, swim on this lot for whatever reason. Like, I was playing with Jade. I used her, and she recently turned into a mermaid. So, when she was finished eating and she paid the bill, she jumped into the ocean and swam around for a bit. So, I was like, okay, well, that's cool. <laughs> so, she tested that part out, which I didn't even think about. But, yeah, so if you wanted your sims to go out there and kind of hang out or whatever, you can do that, too. If they wanted to go swimming after they went eating for, you know, whatever reason, you can do that as well. So yeah, so right now we're just putting on the finishing touches. I just added, you know, a quick bouquet of flowers, you know, just to put on the tables, just to have some decoration. I made sure not to use any saucer lights this time around. Again, I'm still working on it. I know my last build, I probably left a couple, so my bad. But it's okay, you know, I do, I do what I can. Anyway, so here are the screenshots, just so you guys can get a better look at everything. And like I said, I did add some gameplay screenshots towards the end, so y'all can see how that looks as well. And as always, if you guys like the video, you know, give it a big thumbs up leave a comment if you feel like saying anything and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already you know just so you guys will be able to see all my newest builds as they come out but anyways i'm going to let you guys go and i'm excited to see you guys next time and i hope you like everything and as always as once again the house is up on the gallery please use move objects on when placing the lot and i'll see you guys next time bye